What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to use a really cool social proof software on your website from useproof.com to help you increase your conversions. So let me just quickly show you what this looks like and how it can benefit you. So let me just move myself out of the way here and I will click on preview this page. And here you will see on the bottom right, it says here name from XXX location has just signed up. In this case, seven days ago, because that's the last time someone signed up on this fake page. OK, uh, but in your case, if someone signs up a day ago or, uh, you know, even a few minutes or a few seconds ago, it will immediately show up. So that is an amazing way to have social proof on your site, even on your opt in page when, you know, you can't really have um, usually if your opt in page is really small with just an email um, form like this, there's no room for testimonials, right? You want it to be nice and sweet. This would be a great way to include this social proof on your opt in page. And the best part about it is useproof.com has established a reputation, um, you know, of being legitimate. It doesn't actually show fake conversions. So when people come here and they see that, hey, this person signed up a few seconds ago or whatnot, and it's verified by proof, useproof.com, we know that it's real. So in this video, I want to show you how you can set it up on your website. So let's get started. So um, the first thing you'll have to do is go to useproof.com and just sign up, okay? So if you go useproof.com, uh, it will give you a, an option to sign up and it will give you a 14-day free trial, okay? So after you do that, you will see a screen something like this. Now, in my case, my pixel is already firing and it's sending data. So in your case, you will not see this message, but you will still see a pixel. So you you have to go to pixel install in case that is not what you're seeing. You may see maybe even something like this. Okay. But disregard all this, this, this doesn't really matter. We're going to go through, I'm going to show you how to install this step by step. So go into pixel install. And the first thing you need to do is to install this pixel code on every page where you want to have this little social proof software icon pop up. Okay. So I'm using ClickFunnels, but regardless of what page you're using, you want to, or what page builder you're using, you want to add this code to the header section. So in ClickFunnels, what I've done is, uh, in this case, I only want that little social proof icon to show up on this page. So what I've done is I went into tracking code and I have added it right there, just at the top in the header and I clicked save, okay? So if you're using WordPress, add it somewhere in the, word, uh, in the header of the, uh, page you want to track if you're using lead pages, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera, find the header section of the page you want to track and add it there. That is it. That is pretty much it. Now all we have to do is go to useproof.com and add the website that has this code on there so that we can see this um, this little image show up. Okay, and that's what we're going to do next. So now that that's done, I'm going to go back to useproof and I'm just going to make sure that I see this message here. Okay. So you can refresh and it, it, it will show you how long ago the pixel was fired. But after you install it, you want to keep refreshing the page and just make sure that it says that the page is up and running, okay? That is your goal. That's the first step, okay? After you see it green and you see that that um, use proof has identified that there's a pixel on the page you want to track, we need to create a new useproof.com campaign and we are gonna go to new. So I already have a campaign here. Let me go back. Um, so I, I already have one campaign established for here already, right? But I'm just going to create a new one to show you. So if you want to sign up for the pro version, you can. It just shows additional uh, bits and pieces of information. For now, I'll just be focusing on helping you set up, uh, you know, the basic uh, little social proof bit there at the bottom, as you've seen at the beginning of the video. However, if you want to upgrade to the pro version, you can um, select these options here as well, and it will do the exact same thing, okay? But for now, let's just go with this one, and I'll click on customize. And now what we have to do is we do need to customize how we want this little icon to be shown to people, okay? So the first thing is over here is, of course, the message. So the message is something that's right there, and you know this is pretty straightforward. But for example, I can say, uh, you know, has made the right decision and signed up, something like that, okay? Uh, so this is the message that shows up here. You can tailor it to your niche, to your market, to your audience. Uh, the image here, 
<clears throat> you can select on if you want to just display the map rather than the face of the person. We'll get into that a bit later as to how uh, it can show the face of the person. Uh, but this is basically how you would do it. You can also display a custom image. If you select the custom image, then it will not show the maps if you select off. If you display, <clears throat> if you choose to add a custom image, then it will just not show the map. So that's up to you. You know, you can have a custom image, maybe an image of your logo or something like that, if that's what you want to do. Or again, you can just choose map by clicking on. So these are basically options. Um, just take a look through them. It basically shows like, what do you want that little icon at the bottom to show? Do you want it to display the last just one conversion and that's it? Or do you want it to go as far as maybe 100 or 200 conversions? Um, how far back do you want to show the conversions for? So as you saw at the beginning of the video, I showed you, you know, this person, James, has signed up seven days ago. Do you want that? Or would you rather not even show that at all? This is where you would you would change that. You know, if you think seven days, you know, that's too much, that's too long, I don't want that to even be there, uh, you would make it maybe one day here, okay? Uh, only display if there are at least X number of conversions. So maybe if you think, hey, you know, I don't want this to show only if there's only one person signing up that doesn't look good. I want, you know, to show these um, icons show up repeatedly, you know, like this person signed up a few seconds ago, disappear. Then again, another icon, this person signed up, you know, a minute ago, disappear, et cetera, et cetera. You can change that here. So take a look through these. They're pretty straightforward. For example, this one, do not loop notifications means that if you have, for example, three people that signed up, and use proof used all three of those people already, it will go back in and it will show those three people again. So right now this is set to off, so it will loop the notifications. If you say it, if you set it to on, then it will not loop them in. If you have three people that sign up, it will only show those three people, okay? So I like to keep all these settings as, as off because all of them are pretty good the way they are. So now that we've done that, let's click on done and let's go to the next step. You can either click here or you can click on next. And so here we have to enter the URLs of the pages which are capturing conversions. So what I've done here is I just copied that URL or you can copy this URL with that, right? Um, so if you have split page variations, make sure you're using the right one. But I just went ahead and I took that and I pasted it here, okay? Oops, second. There you go. So you would just add that. It would make sure the page is there and it would allow you to proceed. Now, if the URL doesn't exist, it will become red. So if you type in some URL that's that's completely uh, you know, non-existent, it will show red. It will, it will signal it for you. Uh, but that's pretty much that. Uh, so let's see. So we can go next. Let me see. I'm trying to find where that other option is. Okay. So um, going back to showing the face of the person, okay? So I said I would leave that for a bit later. Um, basically, what you're doing here is you are allowing use proof to kind of compare the email of the person that is signing in to the list of all the different social networks that they may have used that email to sign in for. So for example, Facebook, it's like it's it's the same thing as Facebook advanced, advanced matching where... Um, <clears throat> based on the email that the that the people signed into this page for um use proof will try to match that email with other um social networks like uh you know um, twitter facebook stuff like that and if um, the email matches then they will take that face that that profile picture that they have and they will add it to the bottom of of this um little icon that, that's there that says, hey, James or et cetera, et cetera, has signed up and their face will show up there. So if that's possible, if they're able to obtain that, um, that picture of the face, then they will use that, okay? Unless you select, for example, no, I want to only show the map, for example. In that case, it will only show the map. But if it's possible and if they do identify um, via those social networks, um, the profile picture of the person, then that picture will show up instead, which is pretty cool. Right, because it adds a little bit more credibility uh, to to this whole thing, to this whole process. So here, uh, you're basically including the page where this form is, where this email form is, and then on the next page, you are saying on which page do you want to actually display the notifications. So on the previous one, we only had one sign-in form. However, you may want to also have notifications on many different pages. So you can add one page here. And then you can add another one, for example, you know, I'll put, I'll put in my website, for instance, right? 
So in this case, um, you know, a, a marketing essentials of, of, of course, doesn't have the code on, I just added it there just to sh show as an example. But suppose I did have the piece of code on this website, then what would happen is that little notification saying, hey, James has bought my product uh, two days ago or whatever, will show up on both of these pages. And that's the way how it would work, okay? So that's pretty much it for that part. Um, so these are just basic customizations um, of the appearance. So you can choose where you want to select that little um, icon. So for example, mine was on the right hand side, but you can select it to be on the left if you wanted. You know, most of the times I do see it on the left hand side. Um, you can you can choose to hide them completely on mobile because so sometimes the page just doesn't look that good. Um, or you can just show them on top of the page for mobile. You can click on or off, stuff like that. You can look at the timing if you want to um, <clears throat> set a delay be before the notifications are fired, stuff like that. You can choose to do that. You can choose a custom language if you want it to be translated. But that's pretty much it. <clears throat> so after you click Save, okay, and here this is where you would say the name. So Test Campaign, you click Launch, and that is pretty much it. It's up and running. It is active. As you can see here, it says active. So uh, everything looks good to go. You do want to go in though and make sure that the pixel is installed, right? Assuming that is done and good to go, that is it. You're all set and you should see notifications just like this here. If I move my face out, appear there on the, on the bottom right as soon as someone signs up. And if someone more recent signs up than this, then it will show them. So it's not going to show seven days anymore it's going to show the most recent subscription. So that's pretty much it. Let's just do a quick test run though. Let me just show you what it would look like. So let me sign up again with this address. Let me, let me probably use a real one. Marketing at gmail.com and let me just show you. And now if we test it, we should see the fact that I signed up right there, right? And it, and it pulled up the picture from my social media accounts and now if we give it a few seconds, it should show up the next person that signed up. And this is how it works. A really great way of increasing social proof. Definitely try it out. Uh, it's free for 14 days. It's a 14 day free trial, but see if uh, this can increase conversions for you. And I believe it should, uh, because even on a simple landing page, if you have some social proof, even if it's not testimonials, that should still go a long way. So that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to share with you in this video. If you guys have any other questions, definitely let me know. Questions, comments, concerns. I try to be as responsive as I can on the YouTube channel. Um, but other than that, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, how-tos, etc., etc. Thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next video.